An environment in Bunny Shell is a workspace that consists of components, volumes, and environment variables required to run an application or platform. It is governed by settings that dictate the environment's behavior, such as scheduled start or stop, the build settings, URL prefixes, and many others. This structure supports all stages of the software development lifecycle, being able to create environments for development, staging, reviews, testing, and more. Ultimately, an environment is a collection of containers deployed in Kubernetes, plus some external components like the ones created by Terraform modules, but you don't really have to worry about all the details because Bunnyshell can abstract all the complexities away. So, I have here an environment which is composed out of three components, uh, a backend, a database, and a frontend. I open the frontend application and we can see it's pulling uh, data from the database through the API, so everything's up and running. <clears throat> How an environment looks like is controlled from the configuration. The configuration uh, can be seen here as an entire uh, form and it is composed out of the environment uh, variables which can also be uh, secrets uh, out of components which are uh, defined in a very de developer friendly way but I'm not gonna get uh, into this uh, at the time we're gonna do a separate video on that and also volumes which can be mounted in one or more components. The environment variables uh, glue the components of the environment together. Uh, they can also be edited from the uh, user interface and one important thing to mention is that uh, Bonishell has an inheritance mechanism uh, starting from project variables, moving towards environment variables, and then towards component variables. So basically you can override um, at an upper level what was defined at a lower level. Component variables override environment variables, which in turn override project variables. Uh, seems pretty intuitive, right? Now, besides how an environment looks like, which uh, is uh, controlled by configuration, uh, we also have how an environment behaves, and this is controlled by settings. I'm not going to get uh, deeper into settings. Uh, we have that presented in a separate video. But um, in a nutshell, settings are about um, what the environment behaves like. Uh, like uh, the build settings, uh, build resources, where the build per is performed. Uh, defining the URL handle, which is the custom part, um, the unique part of the URL. It's uh, this one here and uh, other settings as well related to preview environments and more. Environments are organized into projects. So you can have multiple projects, each with uh, its own uh, settings, its own um, start and stop scheduling, uh, project variables, and so on. And within each project, you can have multiple environments, each with its own components and settings and uh, its own state. Once an environment has been created in Bunny Shell, it needs to be deployed in order to um, actually be live and running in a Kubernetes cluster. And you can also uh, stop an environment and start it afterwards. You can uh, delete it or you can clone it in order to have uh, an exact copy of the environment. That's all when it comes to uh, dealing with environments in Bunny Shell.